Hey, Jim, the show's starting. <clears throat> Come on. No, I'm already broadcasting. The show's starting. Jim. Jim. Where? I don't get it. Where's Jim? Lee, where's Jim? Oh, didn't you know? Jim's gone. He's not here? Again. Are you kidding me? Nope. Who's... <laughs> We we're supposed to do a show together. Are you kidding me? He's gone again. Yeah, we just now, like two, three months. We just did an entire show all about him, and then he leaves us again. That's unbelievable. I mean, he left candy here. I've got chocolate-covered macadamia nuts that he left, but he's not. This is his penguin, Linux penguin. I don't know. Well, hey folks, welcome to DTLT today. I don't, I don't even really know what I'm supposed to talk about now that Jim's not here, but I guess I'll have to figure out something. Man, that sucks. Jim's not here. So, uh, apparently he's gone to another speaking engagement, and uh, as usual, we have to hold the fort down at DTLT today. So, oh, Andy tells me that this is Patrick's penguin, so... As is typically the case, Jim steals stuff from others, uh, but that's okay. Um, so welcome to DTLT today. Uh, let's talk a little bit about stuff. So uh, the latest thing in the news is that Google Plus now allows actual brands, organizations, and stuff to join it. So I figured let's let's talk about Google Plus. That that would be a good start anyway, right? So Google Plus came out back in. Uh, what was it, August sometime over the summer? It's Google's social network. And they made a, a big stink with a lot of people because you had to be a real person to join Google+. Plus. Do you want to come on here? Come on in here. Lee's going to join me. Student eight, are you on Google+. Plus? Hi. Yeah, but actually that, that's you kind know. of why I wanted to come in because like what? I thought it was interesting because Google+, Plus, I don't really use it very much. You don't use it at all? Oh, I, sometimes. I got back onto it recently, but like... And I was really, really excited about Google+, Plus, but I just ended up not really using it. Now let me ask you, do you use Facebook? Yeah, that's the, the problem. Time. Yeah. I, I haven't made that transfer, and, like most of my friends haven't either, so I'm just kind of stuck with Facebook. I killed my Facebook account back in May of this year and haven't been back. Uh, I joined Google+, Plus and it was kind of funny. When it first came out, like the thing about Google+, Plus was everybody that was on there, all they talked about was Google+. Plus. Yeah. How it compared to Facebook, what was great about Google+, Plus, what's not, and ironically now here we are talking about Google+, Plus, uh, and it's more about the technology and the product itself than anything about the social network and, and things like that. Um, it, I don't know. It's interesting. So they, they had a big stink on there because there were people who wanted to have pseudonyms on there, in addition to just companies that wanted to have a presence on there. Coca-Cola created a page and others, um, things like that, and Google deleted those accounts. No warning or anything and said, no, 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 our policy is that we're not going to allow organizations and people who aren't, don't have real names to join Google Plus right now. That has, hmm. You have to be a real person. You can't be... Uh, you know, you couldn't have a fake page, for example. I wonder, you know, Facebook ran into that problem where um, people who had passed away when they had fa when they had pages, mm -hmm. like, um, you know, they they had problems with like where they would take them down, and then the survivors would be really really upset. So yeah. I wonder if that's something that they're gonna think about. Too. Maybe. Hi, <laughs> hi, nice professor. Hi, yeah. everybody. So. Yeah, it, I don't know. I mean, it's still a beta product, as are many Google products. Uh, it's still in beta. Um, it still feels like something that they're sort of working their way through. I've been kind of surprised, but I guess I shouldn't be, that there's even that many people on Google+. Plus. But it's a Google product, so I guess they're guaranteed to have a certain amount of people on there. But in terms of what they offer, there's not a lot there. Uh, I, I can tell you, I deleted my account at one point, and then I added it back in because of the Hangout feature. Have you ever played with that? Um, actually, it's kind of neat. Uh, 
that might be one reason why I'm going to go back to it is because yeah. it's because uh, Facebook doesn't have that, and um, we actually used the Hangout in one of my classes. Did you with Professor Whalen? Because our class is um, kind of doing projects on um, the same kind of project with a couple other classes across the country, mm -hmm. and so we all kind of want to do this like conference thing, and uh, so that was uh, so we actually used that, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's. It's better to me than Skype certainly is. Uh, Skype is decent, but if you want to do group video on that, um, everybody's got to install software on their computer. It costs money to do the group video chat. You can do one on one, but if you have to do like five people doing video chat, you have to pay. Really? Yeah, you have to pay. Wait, extra. but that's that's for Skype. Yeah. Oh, With, Skype. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skype, you'd have to pay. Skype. So, so yeah, Google Hangout, it, it's a cool thing. It almost seems like it's a product in and of itself. I wish it was. Like, I wish I could just start a hangout and send a link out to people and they could join without having to be a part of this social network because that was always a little bit intimidating you know when I wanted to try it out with my dad for instance and then he was like well it says I need a Google Plus account I'm like okay do you have a Google account hmm. no I don't still and so, have AOL right so he had to set up an account then he had to set up a Google Plus uh, profile it's like joining this social network just so you can do video chat so it's a little, a little bad. Do you have to there. still do that with Skype, though? Don't you still have to have like a? Uh... You have to have an ID and password, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of hurdles to that. Um, my understanding, and you'll probably still need an account, but my understanding right now you have to. Um, there's a limit of ten people in a Google Plus oh, hangout, yeah. uh, and apparently they're working on opening it up so ten people can video chat, but an unlimited amount of people could watch. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so we could technically run DTLT today from a Google Plus Hangout, and people could all watch from there. But, um, you know, for instance, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so they opened up these pages, which people were finally uh, saying, thank you, thank you, we we wanted to do this for so long. DTLT today actually has a Google Plus page. Oh. I went in there and created one um, yesterday. Or maybe it was the day before? No, it was yesterday. Hi, Julia! So... DTLT today has its own Google Plus page now. I, I don't know what that gets us in terms of anything. I guess it's a nice little generic. Street cred. Well, it gets us net cred. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's a nice little um, a way for us to create a hangout in there without it being our personal account. So if we if DTLT today wants to host a chat of that nature, I don't have to say, hey, you've got to be friends with Tim Owens or Andy Rush in order to do that. Because um, there's a lot of creepers on the Internet. There's a lot of... Um, douchebags. He worked it in. I tried to, <laughs> well done. I brought it right back around. You like that? I did. So um, there's a lot of crazy people out there. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so we have our own Google Plus page now. I, you know, I don't buy into this whole thing that you've got to be on every single network everywhere all the time. Um, I think you really need to pick and choose and decide what you want to be a part of. Companies, they like this kind of stuff because they want to be everywhere for everyone. But for me, I'd rather, you know, I got rid of Facebook even though there was some value to it in terms of interacting with family just just because I didn't like everything that I had to put up with there. And for me, it's Twitter and Google Plus just for the Hangout feature, as sad as it is to say. Like, that's the only reason I go back there is the Hangout feature. But other than that, in terms of social networks, I'm not really big on stuff. Um, do you do anything outside of Facebook? Um, No, like, I... I kind of dabbled with MySpace for a little bit, but it was already on the way out. But like MySpace, I know, right? Um, but then I went over to Facebook. Mm. But um, like I think it's, I think it's it's more trouble. It, it's more of a, um, it's more trouble for me, and I think for my generation or the you know, to go to Google Plus because we're already so embedded. Like our culture right. is just so embedded with Facebook. I mean, mm. you know, the the social network movie is kind of like a, a statement about you know, us. Yeah. Um, well, so, but I mean, like, I've noticed that I have a lot of, like, professional contacts and <laughs> stuff. The <laughs> I have, like, professional mm. contacts, as it were, or, like, a, the the adults in my, you know, world. Yeah. Are, a lot of them are on Google+. Plus. How about LinkedIn? Do you uh, use that? I don't, I don't use LinkedIn, but I have this, ew, bug on me. I have this fear... <laughs> That I'm going to have to go there as well when I eventually have to, um, you, don't. you know, get a job. Oh, I don't? No, don't, don't. 
Don't buy it. That's the other thing because I, I like I hear these contradicting things where everyone's like, oh, I need to get it on LinkedIn, and then like the people who are actually have jobs and stuff like that, and like know some about it, are like, yeah, LinkedIn's. Like, Nobody dumb. gets a job from having a LinkedIn profile. Friendster? Are you I seriously? You seriously. So I was on Friendster. No, wait. No, I'm not Maybe. on Friendster. I don't even know what Friendster is. Yeah, I was I've on MySpace back in the day. You, I had a pretty tricked out profile if I say so myself. Was it was it blinky and did it have sparkles and stuff I, on I, it? Uh, I actually used pink on my pink. profile in a pretty oh. uh, dynamic way. So, uh, but I don't have I don't think I have that account. Maybe I still do. Uh, I guess if if I didn't go in and delete it myself, it's still there. Um, but I wonder if there is ever going to be a uh, you assume like with these natural progressions like I don't know how long MySpace was around Friendster wasn't around for a long period of time but when they were at the height of their day everybody thought well I, I can't even think of what could come after MySpace MySpace is massive there's hundreds of millions of people they're signing up so many tens or hundreds of thousands of people every single day there's no way anybody's gonna beat MySpace and yet here we are with Facebook I wonder if Facebook's going to go the same way. I hope so. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of sick of Facebook. I'm sick of, yeah. And I'd, yet it's all you use. <laughs> I would love to go to Google+, Plus, but it's just like I would have to convince, like, okay. everybody I know to go to Google+. Plus like a too. battered wife. Like, <laughs> I hate it, but I can't leave it. Yeah, and pretty much. <laughs> Jeez. Because I, I hate what it does with, like, my privacy and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah. Yeah. I, am I am I what? Are you on the gopher? <laughs> what is the gopher? And and no, I'm I'm Andy, I'm older than eighteen. Andy Rush is in the chat room, uh, uh pulling out the archaic stuff that even gopher? it's even old it's it's older than I am. It's you know it's someone as distinguished is and that like aged prodigy? as Andy. Something like I remember that, Prodigy. I believe. You know. I remember uh um that was like my first memory mm -hmm. of the internet it was Prodigy. Yeah. That that was back when to send an email they they had to like chisel a tablet and then send it, it by uh, pigeon. Yeah. So that was what, that was a key feature that Gopher. Um, Wait, really? Did. No, I mean not really, but never mind. So, but yeah. So I wonder it, if Facebook's gonna go away. How soon will that happen? If it even does happen, I, or I wonder if the web has changed to where that's no longer the case in some of these larger social media sites are going to persist beyond that. It seems like there's this uh, more distributed effort on Facebook to not just be just this little social network. They've really become this, not even just a community, it's this more thing where like you're logging in with your Facebook account to other websites yeah, and actually, other things like that. I actually know? do. I actually do that one thing. I don't know. Sure. It felt weird. But, um, oh shoot, I lost what I was going to say. It's okay. So. So Google Plus, you have an account. I don't even know if I'm following you or not. Or yeah, I guess the, you are. the term's not following. You've got to add people to circles. Circles. Right. <laughs> I have one circle called following. So all I really do is technically follow people. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. Um, Go for it. The um, thank you for your permission to get it. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, it's my show, Dan. <laughs> I'm student aid here. Um, <laughs> I think that like Facebook, I really, I think Facebook might will be on the way out, but I think it might take a lot longer, like maybe ten years tops, I think. Mm. But then again, things move quick on the internet. But um, That's true. but I was thinking that you know, Facebook is, I guess, social media in general, but Facebook in particular has kind of come under criticism for being, you know, like, like you know, what I mean, what are you really posting about? You know. Nobody puts up, you know, the, the things that you that you post about and the things that you say on Facebook and the pictures that you put up, it's all like this kind of, you know, particular, nobody puts up pictures where you look bad. And I just think that's kind of, I don't know, It's a sad. It's a curated version of yourself. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Philosophically speaking. Philosophically speaking. Yeah. We were doing philosophy earlier, so. Yeah. So, yeah, I... It'll be interesting to see. I, I will never go back to Facebook. I don't honestly miss it. Um, I did delete it once before and I went back. Uh, now I'm to a point where it's like it's not even a part of my life. You know, the the only time where I'm sort of like confused is when people are talking about things and saying, oh, did you see so-and-so did this or that? They're assuming that I'm on Facebook and that I, it came in through my stream and I just have no idea. Plus they keep changing about. things up and it's just like they don't change things for the better, but I'm glad that you finished your 12 steps to Facebook. I did. Getting rid of Facebook out of your life. Yeah, so 
Well, you did a pretty decent job of filling in for Jim. Thank you. You, you fill his shoes nicely, Lee. <laughs> I think you, you've earned yourself one shoes. of his snacks. So, uh, anyway, thanks yes. for watching DTLT today. And uh, hopefully at one point we'll be able to find Jim Groom again. And maybe he'll actually be able to participate He's in the He's never coming show. back. He's going to go to, like, Hawaii next. Yeah. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Bye! Okay.